back to Illinois Southern short line um, I just wanted to uh, put a video out there real quick it's gonna be a short video of uh, I put Vinny's um, engine house back on the layout finally um, I don't know what I was thinking when I took it off of it but but anyway um, I put it back um, but Um, this is where it's going to stay. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to buy um, some new sanding towers and put them here. Um, so it, it, it'll look. It, it, this is where it needs to be. So uh, Vinny, it's uh, uh, looking good here, and uh, thank you for everything. Um, but. Uh, but I just wanted to show you, and I got a couple of, uh, I got some engines sitting in here. I got my uh, Illinois Central uh, GP40s sitting in, sitting in it, 3120 and 3107. And I have my uh, Missouri Pacific uh, 1422 locomotive sitting in it. I think it's a 28 two uh, also sitting in it um, I have my u-boat and Norfolk Southern sitting in it um, there you go my phone having a hard time focusing and I got my little track mobile here and uh, my um, other u-boat my Illinois Central um, 5005 so I just wanted to uh, make a little video on that hope you guys enjoy it I uh, also I got big news um, I uh, recently bought a Intermountain GP10 uh, Paducah rebuilt engine um, I uh, go pick it up Thursday uh, at the hobby shop in Belleville, um, Illinois, and uh, can't wait. I can't wait to get it. If everything goes right, I'll have it Thursday. Um, it's going to be a, uh, a grayback ICG paint scheme, uh, similar to this uh, old uh, Athern uh, Blue Box um, paint scheme. Um, It'll be it'll be this paint scheme, um, um, but it's got it'll have sound uh, lights. Um, I I can't wait I can't wait to get it. So if I'm if uh, everything goes right I'm gonna go pick it up Thursday. Um, but it's got you know it's it's this paint scheme here um, with the uh, ICG on the side, and I remember when I was a kid. Um, them going by my house on the old GMO uh, trackage there in Percy, and uh, so uh, I'm hopefully we'll have more by the end of the uh, the year. But uh, I'm very excited to uh, be getting that engine. So, um, but anyway, uh, just wanted to show you and uh, keep you updated on the on the layout and the engine house is back where it should be. And uh, here in a second, I'm going to start uh, putting new track, uh, track, track in, sorry, and put my uh, sandpaper company. This is where it's going to go. So I got my uh, tracks laying here and going to start working on that here uh, in a couple minutes. And um, But uh, that's it. A um, little short little video. Also, I uh, took this... Uh, switch out. I had a switch right here um, and I just uh, uh, put a track in here and um, uh, just stub stubbed it right here. This screw is just to keep the, the cabooses on just for now just in case uh, I accidentally hit them with my hand or something. Um, they're going to this is just to be a caboose track. Um, the switch is uh, 
down there. So that's just where the cabooses sit and maybe a couple of cars here every now and then. And uh, But uh, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so we'll uh, talk to you later, and I can't wait to get that engine hopefully on Thursday if everything goes right. So uh, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.